ride, eh? And worse. There's two in the dry bunk waiting for you. I'll see to you, Holly. Thanks. You want to deal them or just shuffle them? How about two bits on the next hand? You owe me six already. Okay, double or nothing. Come on in. Game's hot. Spills the water. Look like you could use it. Um, no. I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Kids. Nice, Dad. Quiet. 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 Listen, you're gonna get me that angry if you, if you keep looking at me. I don't want you to look. What? Go away. I, I will. Um, no, uh, yeah, uh, just a moment. What seems to be the trouble? Get out. That'll be the last time you beat up on one of my ladies. Well, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. I run a classy place here. Your money don't interest me. Doesn't it? There'll be more next time. I'll be watching for you. Good day. I'd like to see that dress, please. It's genuine lace, all the way from Paris. You have exquisite taste, young man. She'll love it. I'm sure she will. Top of the stairs to your left, son. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Mister, could you set me up a hot bath with plenty of towels? Right away, <laughs> sir. Excuse me, but I believe it would be much more flattering if the hat was tilted slightly to the left. You do. That is better. Better, but not quite. May I? Okay. No, hold still now. Yeah, no. I think that does it. Turn around. Much better. Tyler DeWitt, at your service. And you are? Louise. Pleasure to meet you, Louise. You know, you're just the person who might be able to provide the answer to a very difficult question. What? Is being saved from social embarrassment sufficient cause for a young lady to dine with a gentleman who finds her most attractive? I mean it. Don't come any closer. Sit down, Jimmy. Whoa. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when you turn chicken, Jimmy. Jimmy, 
Jimmy. Come on, put it down. Good morning, you. Leave me be. Just calm down, Jimmy. We ain't gonna hurt you. I just want to get a look at it, that's all. I don't want you looking. What? 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 Oh, come on, Jimmy. Don't be yelling. Get away from me, Cody. So help me God, I'll knock you in the next week. What? 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 Get him, I called it. Hold it, Mike. Jimmy, don't that too. Hold it. Yeah, just what I thought. She turned on you, son. Whole jaw swollen. Are you ain't gonna pull it? No, of course not. What with modern medical care, that tooth can be as good as new. Let him up, boys. You mean you know a cure? Expect I do. Round pig's foot and clothes. Put this round your neck, fix you right up. Oh. <laughs> What's insurance? What's insurance? Well, it's funny, right now, it doesn't seem too important. Let's see. Basically, insurance helps people pursue their dreams by reducing financial risk in the event of unforeseen circumstances. How does it do all that? Well, even if I could explain, I don't think I care to at the moment. More champagne. No, thank you. Actually, it's uh, not as boring as it sounds. My company also insures some very valuable shipments, gold, weapons. Army payrolls, things like that. It's also my job to um, follow up and see that they arrive safely. In fact, I'm one of only a handful of people with access to the shipping schedules. <laughs> uh, there I go again, bragging. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. I like it. Well, I just get sick and tired of hearing myself talk. That's enough about me. What about you? What about me? Well, for starters, I know your first name's Louise. Now, what's your second? Does it matter? <laughs> you are evasive. Oh, let's try another tack. <laughs> Why would a beautiful young woman, traveling alone, check into a hotel in an out-of-the-way place like this? You said I was alone? Ah, uh -huh, so have I to be on the lookout for an insanely jealous husband or fiancé? Mm, nope. I'm traveling with my mother. We have family in Sweetwater. I see. Well, I hope she's not expecting you back too soon. Who? Your mother. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, she's probably asleep by now. We had a long day. Good. No. Well, you see, there's something you should learn about men in my line of business. <laughs> we never take no for an answer. Guess one more can't hurt. That's the spirit. No, no, not like that. Like this. Mm. How do you like it? It tickles my nose. <laughs> gotta go. Why? Why? It's late now. We're leaving early in the morning. Well, I want to see you again. I wish I could, but I... I can't. Of course you can. No. Really, you don't understand. Try me. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Really? I... I couldn't help myself. Good night. Louise! I'll be seeing you again.
miss me? Just hit us. Took all the ammunition we was carrying. Shot Floyd for no damn reason, then ran off the team. How bad is he? Not good. I'm afraid to move him. Sweetwater's closest. I'll send back the marshal. Here. Sleeping saddle? Freight wagon was held up near Bitter Springs. Guard was shot. I rode into town to tell the marshal. Well, you done good. Go get washed up. I'll get your horse. Thanks. That. Nothing. Come on, what are you hiding? I'm not hiding nothing. That's none of your business. I just want to see what you got. It looks pretty. It's a dress. All right. That's nice. Why'd you buy it? I felt like it. Something wrong with that? No. I just thought there might be a reason. I'm a girl kid. That's reason enough. Guess his best teaspoon don't see it. He might think you're kind of strange. Did you get it in Blue Creek? <sighs> Are you all right, Lou? Fine. You could have fooled me. I just don't like people asking a lot of questions and poking in my business, understand? Sorry. When do you think we'll hear, Teaspoon? Any day now. Election was last week. There's already rumors Lincoln won. Mississippi and Alabama swore they'd leave the Union if he became president. Think this means war? Well, it's hard to say. Most people think the country will destroy itself if states start falling out. But like old Ben Franklin says, either we hang together or we'll all hang separately. Well, war won't bother us none, not way out here. Don't you believe it? War gets started like a prairie fire, spreads faster than the wind, destroying everything and everybody in its path. Of course, in the meantime, we still got work to do. Are you up, Cody? Yes, sir. After you boys finish lunch, why don't you help me with my chores back in town? Boys, help me load up here, then you can go about your business. Jimmy, I keep uh, sniffing that pipe if I was you. Otherwise, you'll end up in Dr. Luckett's chair over there. The chair, good idea. I'll go with you, Jimmy. Me too. See, I don't see any need for that because the stuff you gave me is, I think, it's working out real well. Don't hardly hurt no more. Well, I figured you'd be in today, Teaspoon. Well, I've got this list. I was hoping you could give me a hand. All right. Well, let's see what we got this week. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. 
What's this? Looks like 50 pounds of cats. I think that's oats. Right, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. What's that? Good for whooping cough, consumption, dysentery, asthma, toothache, colic, pink eye, and hives. Your hives acting up again, Jimmy? <laughs> Here's your oats. Now what's next? Excuse me, sir. I was looking for the proprietor. You found him. Tyler DeWitt, Mutual Assurance Company of Chicago. We can do great things for you if you just give me a moment of your time. Well, I'll be with you in a minute. In fact, sir, I believe you might find it one of the most profitable. I moments. said I'll be with you in a minute. Sir. Sorry, Teaspoon, I just ran out of flour. How about some cornmeal instead? Yeah. Hey! I didn't touch him. Damn it! Why is it every time you kids come in here, there's always trouble? for another man's gold, do you? They knew he was carrying it, sure as Christmas. <sighs> Thanks. Did you get a look at any of them? No, sir, and I didn't want to neither. Sound like the same bunch that robbed a freight wagon. Emma? You wanted to see me? I want to try something. Come here. That's better. You got nice eyes. Thanks. Your face is real pretty, too. You shouldn't hide it the way you always do. That's so? Mm-hmm. You know, I've always liked you. I, uh, I have to go, Emma. Why? What's the matter? I, uh, I have to go help Ike? I'm just trying to tell you how attractive you are. Now hold it, Emma. I think you'd look a whole lot better in this. I'd love to see it on you. 
I knew I shouldn't have bought this dress. But why not? It's lovely. Besides, I knew a long time before I saw this poking out from your mattress. How long? Well, right from the first. But I admired your spunk, and I didn't see no reason why you shouldn't have the same chance as the boys. I appreciate that, Emma. It hadn't been easy. Well, I know that, and that's why I thought we should have this little talk. I found that dress and it broke my heart. I remember a while back at that dance. You're watching all those pretty girls in their fine clothes. Must have hurt real bad. But now you have another woman to talk to. What about my job? The company will fire me. Well, who's going to tell them? Anyway, you're one of the best riders we got. And Teaspoon? Oh, well, as long as he's in the dark, there's no law says we got to show him the light. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What are we doing here, Emma? Is this some kind of birthday party? Oh, it's not a birthday party. This here's a coming out party. I would like to introduce to you Miss Louise McLeod. First one to laugh gets a punch in the nose. Lula Bell. I wanted y'all to see how pretty she looks. I didn't mess things up for you, Lou, did I? You knew all along. See? Being good on a horse doesn't mean a person's a boy. Hey, but what about Teaspoon? What about Mr. Spoon? Well, it looks like we got ourselves a new bunk mate, fellas. <laughs> All I can say is you better watch yourself, kid. Kid? Kid who? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Tompkins. Mr. Tompkins. Ah, excuse me, sir. Uh, Reverend, I presume you must know most people who live around here. Well, I hope so. Why? Well, well, I'm looking for a certain young lady. Her name is Louise. Now, I only met her briefly in Blue Creek a few days ago. Uh, she has short, dark hair. I figured she might be a member of your congregation. No, she doesn't sound familiar. No? Oh, well, I see. Thank you. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Creek. What? You heard me. I don't know what you're talking about. That fellow was in Tompkins' store yesterday. He's been asking all over town about you. I didn't notice anyone. Yes, you did. You about broke a leg trying to get out of there. Who is he? I told you I don't know. Stop lying. Stay out of my business. I don't owe you nothing. I have a message for Mr. DeWitt. Make sure he gets it. It's very important. I'll take care of it. Louise. Sorry, I'm late. I was getting worried. I thought you'd... Changed your mind. I almost did. You're a hard woman to find. <laughs> Why'd you come to Sweetwater, Tyler? I promised I'd see you again. I always keep my word to a lady. I can't. That's why I came here, to tell you to stop looking for me. 
Why? Does your mother object? Shouldn't have lied to me, Louise. I had to. Why? There's someone else we intend to marry. You love him? Of course. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. You're just saying that because you think I'll believe you and then I'll go away. Well, you can't get rid of me that easy. I don't want to see you, Tower. I don't believe you. Stop it. You're not getting married. You're just scared. I want you, and you feel the same way about me. If you didn't, you wouldn't be here. But... I meant what I said. We'll be seeing each other again. What wore a hat like that? You probably will, Charles. Where were you yesterday? I waited for you. Forgot about it. Don't worry, I've got your cut. Seems like you're forgetting a lot of things lately. Something eating you. I said no killing. You murdered two men. They drew on us. What'd you expect me to do? Think for a change. I'm giving you all the information. The shipments, the routes, the dates. The least you can do is to set it up so the guards don't have time to react. It ain't that easy. Oh, Mr. Child. We got two other jobs before we vacate this territory. There's a big bank shipment due. 25,000 in gold. Now, if you keep killing guards, we'll have the law all over us. I don't want trouble before we're finished. Do you understand? All right, Tyler. We'll do it your way. Good. Louise, what is it? I need to talk. Come on in, I'll make us some tea. No, I ain't gonna do it. You got no choice. You can't make me. Teaspoon says don't come back till you get that tooth yank. Uh, I won't. Uh, you keep me like awake. Uh, I won't. This ain't legal. Uh, ah, put me down. Uh, ah. It was nice, Emma. I've never been treated that way by a man before. It made me feel good, you know? Like a real lady. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. How it sometimes is. Lord knows you haven't been getting that around here. But there was something else about him, something I, I don't know, scary. The closer I got to him, the more I felt it. It frightened me the way he wanted me. But I liked it, too. Well, Lily Bell, some men in this world are takers. And it sounds like he might be one of them. How can I tell? Experience. I guess it's something every woman's got to figure out for herself. I told him I wasn't going to see him again. I meant it, but now I don't know. What do you think? I can't tell you what to do. That is something you have got to figure out for yourself. What do you want? I don't know, Emma. It's so damn confusing. I mean, I already feel guilty about the kid. Well, don't. You didn't make no promises, and you did not do anything wrong. So, you put that notion right out of your head. You've been living here, pretending to be something you're not, and there is no reason to feel guilty about feeling like a lady. 
You just make sure you're not making a mistake or hurting anybody. It's not easy growing up. It's not easy not growing up either. Good news, Mr. Hickok. I think we can save that little beauty. You mean you're not gonna pull it? Oh, no, no, no. We don't extract teeth anymore. Not like we used to. Modern dentistry has made great strides. What with the new scientific tools at our disposal, we can treat practically every problem by simply filling the infected area. Well, this ain't gonna be so bad after all, is it? What's that? This is the very latest in modern dental technology. We use it to clean the decayed area. Open wide. It's gonna hurt? Oh, not a bit. It's virtually painless. You sure? Positive. Now just sit back and relax. All right. Again, I'll give you something else to fill. Mm. Emma ain't gonna like this. Any messages? Mr. DeWitt? That's right. Marshal Sam Kane. I'd appreciate a word with you. Yeah, well, uh, I have heard of several holdups in the last month. That's my business. Well, I'm told your company insured at least two of the shipments. It is possible. I'd um, have to check the records. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. Is there any way of knowing in advance when a valuable shipment's due? Why would you want to know that? Well, it seems that at least one gang's hitting all the big ones. If I could find out when one was coming in, I could arrange a little surprise for him. Well, I'd like to help you, Marshal, but um, I just sell insurance. I don't have access to that kind of information. No one does. But um, perhaps you'd like to contact a head office in Chicago. They might make an exception. I'm afraid I don't have time, Mr. DeWitt. Thanks anyway. There ain't nobody that smart. This gang seems to be. Well, it's a puzzlement how they know which shipment to rob. What are you gonna do, Sam? Well, I figure the only way we can catch them is by getting one step ahead of them. How? by picking out the next big shipment and shadowing it. Me and my deputies could sure use your help. Well, hell, you can always count on that, but how are you gonna get the information? Well, I've talked to just about every merchant in town. Now, Mr. Jenkins over at the bank, he's a little nervous about it, but he finally told me about this delivery from the Mint. It's due tomorrow, 25,000 in gold. And with all these robberies lately, he'd have been crazy not to tell me. Anyways, I was hoping that fella, that insurance fella, DeWitt, could help me. But he tells me he ain't privy to any of the shipping schedules. He told you that? That's right. Was something wrong? No. Come on, my dear. Here! Excuse me there, Buck. Isn't it supposed to be Lou's run? Well, he asked me to take it for him. I said he had business in town. Was something wrong? I'm not sure. Damn it, Katie, hold still. I'm just trying to help. You think I feel like it? Kid. What is it, Emma? I don't know, but I think Lou's in trouble.
Take off your dumbbell and raise them real slow. Whoever you are, you just made a big mistake. Turn around. Shipping schedules you told me about? It would appear that way. You're the one behind those holdups all along. <laughs> Sometimes the truth comes out in strange ways. Yeah. Who are you, Louise? And why are you here? No games now. I'm the same person you met in Blue Creek. Also ride for the Pony Express. You've been robbing the company I work for. I see. You know, I liked you. I really did. Does the marshal know you're here? <laughs> you're not going to tell me, are you? <laughs> you afraid of me, Louise? I asked you a question. Are you afraid of me? That's what I told you before. I'll never take no for an answer. Telling me what you know. Yeah. One more time. Are they expecting us? I hope so. She hopes so. She don't know nothing. I say we forget the whole thing. You do? Well, let me get this straight, Mr. Charles. You're willing to walk away from 25,000 in gold. It ain't worth dying for. No. No. I see. Your opinion is duly noted. Zack. I'm in. Curtis. I'm with you. Vaughn? Yeah. Virgil? Yeah, I am. Don't leave us yet, Louise. Please, please, Louise. That's very good. Now, Mr. Charles, I certainly wouldn't want you to continue as a member of our organization if you didn't fully believe in what we were doing. Actually, it is an interesting question. Is 25,000 in gold worth dying for? No. No? No. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Now's the time for truth. Oh, good. 
got some fight left in you. Why aren't you afraid of me? Should I be? Sure. What are you trying to prove here? Nothing. You're gonna kill me anyway. So go ahead. Get it over with. This is the United States Marshal. Drop your weapons and put your hands behind your head. Look out! He's up there! Hold it, hold it. Sam, he's got Lou. Kid, what the hell is there? Get down! Uh. me too much. You're sick. Stay away from me. <gasps> Don't be surprised. You had it coming. Teach that damn tooth better than to mess with me, huh? I'm surprised he didn't shoot it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. I should have been honest with you. I don't know. You needed something and I was blind to it. Won't happen again, I promise. I owe you a lot. You don't owe me nothing, Lou. Louise. <laughs> yes, I do. I never realized how much till now. <laughs> <laughs> 